Right, well I want to start by showing you a particular netting technique that I've used to make the heads on all the little figures. Basically you're going to make a straight piece of netting, we're going to join it into a tube and then we seal both ends of the tube and pop a little wooden bead in the middle of it. So I'll take you through that slowly. We're going to start with the way you start the netting. So you're just going to pick up your first bead and we're going to tie that onto the thread. Now do read the instructions because it will tell you how long a tail thread you need to leave. So the tail is this little short piece here. I'm just going to leave a tiny bit on this demo piece but you might find you need to leave something a bit longer in case you're using it later on for doing some extra bits at the end. So I've just tied a double knot and that's got that bead nicely anchored onto the thread. So let's go back to that bead we've just tied on. I'm going to pass the needle through it again just to anchor the thread. Now we're going to pick up another six beads. Come here, there we go. And we're going to slide them right along up to your first bead. You want to just carefully pass back through the second and third beads from the end. So that final bead will just anchor everything in place and pull that up nice and tight. So we've got nothing more than a little line of beads here. Now we're gonna go back and pick up another three beads and we're going to go through that very first bead that was tied on. And on this end, so let me just turn it over, we pick up four beads. Don't worry about the bead counts here, that's all detailed in the pattern. So this is just to show you what you're doing. And again, by going back through those last couple of beads, leaving out the one on the end to anchor things, we're creating another little piece of fringe. So that's all you're going to keep on doing. So let me show you again. You're gonna pick up three beads. This time, we go through the middle bead in that little group of three. So this is the netting part. Now if I turn it over again, we're going to add the fringe. So we've got our four beads. Pull them in tight. And we go back through beads two and three. So got that second piece of fringe on this end. One more time, we've got the three beads. They go through the central bead to form the netting and we've got four beads for the fringe. So I slide them down, turn my work around, and go back through those two middle beads in the group of four. Now I'm gonna just keep on doing this all the way along till I've got as many fringe pieces as the pattern says. So rather than do this now in front of you, I've got a little piece that I've prepared. So you can see, just by doing that, adding the three beads for the netting, the four beads to make the fringe on each side, we've got a little strip now. So this is part two. Carefully fold the strip over. I find it's really easy to just hold it around my fingers, just like this. And we're going to zip up to join the ends together. So let's get that tail thread out the way. Just gonna pick up one bead and that goes into the central bead in the little group on the other side. One bead goes into the central bead in the little group on this side. And then we've got our little fringe again. So you remember that was the four beads. And they get pulled into place. Just gonna turn this around easier to work the fringe from that side. Pop through those two beads on the fringe and one last single bead to add in and that goes into the bead that's got your thread knotted on so it's quite easy to spot that one. So that's got your little strip joined into a tube. Now if I just carry on and weave through the beads to get to the other end bit fiddly if you've pulled them in tight so make sure you don't miss out any beads as you go and on through the fringe piece 
to come out of that very end fringe bead. Now change the hold again and this time we're just going to join all those end fringes. So you can go through one bead at a time or a few beads at a time. Just take care that you don't miss any out or get your thread caught. You can see how easily that happens. Let's untangle that and carry on. So we're going to end up with all of the pieces joined together and the thread really doesn't want to play nicely today. Okay, nearly there. And when you do get to the end, make sure you join through back into that first bead again. Pull them up tight and you see you've sealed one end of your tube already. You might want to go round those again, just hold that circle firm, but for now, let me try and get back through. So I want to get onto the other end here. And you can probably guess what's going to come next. All right, we're going to pop the little round bead inside this netted case and join up the other end. So let's weave through. It doesn't matter which beads you go through, just make sure you don't miss any out so you end up with thread looped over the top of a bead. We're nearly there, back through this final end fringe. got a nice knot in the thread so let's pull you through. Okay now you just pop your little wooden bead inside and you want to hold that in place and we're just going to seal up the other end. So exactly the same as you did first time around. It gets a bit trickier because you've got the wooden bead in the way so mind that that doesn't pop out but if you Notice my fingers are kind of cupped around it, so that helps hold it in place as you're pulling up. And we're nearly at this end. Right. Again, just take care you don't miss out any fringes as you go. And into the final one. Pull it all up tight. And if your wooden beads moved, just anchor it back. And there we go. The wrong colour, but that's actually the head for one of your little figures, already incomplete there.